Welcome, this is Alex, and I'm going to be showing off some of the more powerful or just flat out fun weapon mod synergies I have come across in Outriders. This is going to focus on Tier 1 and Tier 2 mods that will be most useful in the early-ish to mid-game. Something to keep in mind, the weapons at this point in the game will start having two mod slots, and you can replace one of the two mods manually, but the other will become locked to the weapon. Also, salvage, salvage, salvage almost everything you find with a new mod on it. That will permanently unlock those new mods, so you can go slap those on any other weapon. Now for this first setup, calling this one the Thor Shot, combining the Storm Whip mod, which calls down a bolt of lightning every two seconds, with the Fusion Blast, which detonates an area around your target. You could also substitute in other area of effect explosive mods, like Fireworks, but I ended up socketing in Fusion Blast because of its shorter 1.5 second cooldown between explosions. This is primarily focused on taking down enemy mobs quickly, but the frequent lightning blast can make it pretty decent as an elite killer as well. Next, why not turn a single shot sniper rifle into a close range weapon focused on reloading? On this, I combine Clip Combustion, which sends out a damaging shockwave after reloading, with Snow Squall, which inflicts freeze on nearby targets after reloading as well, after they've been damaged at least once. With this, you can run straight up to your target, fire once, initiate a reload, and if they don't die from that damage from both the shot and the reload blast, they will simply freeze over, making for easy cleanup. Also, if an elite has low freeze resist, this combo can pretty much turn them into a glorified target practice training dummy. For this next one, this one is kind of just ridiculous, but combining the mod Perpetuum Mobile with a high magazine sized weapon, in conjunction with certain ammo altering class abilities like my Twisted Rounds here, can maintain that damage boost almost indefinitely. Twisted Rounds will only end if you fully deplete and reload your magazine, but with that mod I threw on this gun, if you can frequently kill enemies when under 35% of your remaining magazine, it will continually refill your mag and keep Twisted Rounds going. This gun also had Brain Eater on it, which makes critical shots not consume ammo, further helping the synergy. For my class, the Assassin, I also threw on the passive skill that increases my magazine size, and the higher the ammo count the weapon is, the more chances you'll have for that attached Perpetuum mod to activate. Some guns, like the one I covered in the first section, allow you to swap variants of the same gun, which can further help you boost the magazine size. This next one is more of a tanky build, letting you carelessly soak up damage while in the open. Combining the Shield Maiden mod, which generates shields every one second while shooting, with Essence Thief, which generates health every one second while shooting as well, turns you into a much harder to kill Outrider. If you feel like playing recklessly or are just trying to die less, this will let you take on tons of damage and regen your health, while your frequently gained shield meter covers your health bar as it recuperates. Last, we have a shotgun combo, thinking of calling this one the Explode Stick, Bang Stick, I don't know, I feel like there's a better name out there, but this combines Minefield and Crematorium. Minefield will launch explosives from the target after it's been killed, damaging an area around it, and if the enemies weren't lucky enough to die from that initial blast, Crematorium will inflict ash on them halting their movement. This will set them up easily for that next shot, and with Minefield's one second cooldown, this will likely be yet another glorious explosive payload. And that's it, just a few of the weapon mod combos I've been playing around with in Outriders. Let me know what you think of the game if you've tried it, because I'm curious to see what the general consensus is. As always, this has been Alex from Boomstick Gaming, and I'll be seeing you next time.